Hey guys, uh, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk about TypeScript. Well, basically, I'll be writing some code, and so in, along the way, I'll be explaining to you some of the you know concept on TypeScript. Well, you might be wondering what the TypeScript. You know, people who are not familiar with what TypeScript is, it is a new programming language from Microsoft. Um, basically, idea is you know like job, since right now JavaScript is becoming very ubiquitous, and well, it was always ubiquitous. But it became very, very popular, you know. So, a lot of code out been written, a lot of libraries and out there. So, idea is to, you know, like make, um, you know, like server side program, like object oriented program, or like people who write code in C sharp, BD, or Java, or whatever, to make them, you know, to make them comfortable writing code in JavaScript. So, um, it's uh, Basically, you write code in TypeScript, and that code is basically converted into, uh, you know, JavaScript. So basically, it is a JavaScript. The TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. Okay, all the code that is valid in JavaScript is also valid in TypeScript, which is really, really cool. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you in Visual Studio. So what I did is, well, I have I opened the Visual Studio, and then I start a new project. And very first thing um, you will have to do. Is you have to download this TypeScript that easily integrates with Visual Studio, and once you have that template installed in Visual Studio, you will see this uh, HTML application with TypeScript template. That's your our project type, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead and create a simple card game tutorial or something like that in 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 TypeScript. So basically, uh, what it so basically create a project and then this process is by default created this three file for us CSS file and then TS file and then default HTML file okay this is the default file created by Visual Studio so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it it was we will start from the scratch and here is it I need I'm gonna go ahead and reference get a re remove this reference from here and some markup okay we start from the scratch, okay? So we don't have anything. Let's go ahead and change the title of the page also. Game in TypeScript, something like that. Okay, once that is done, let's go ahead and add a TypeScript file into our project. It's, well, actually, let's add a folder. Uh, TypeScript code, okay? Whatever name you like. Even though you don't need the folder, so just to make it easier, right? Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to create a card game. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to define a suit of the card. To define that, I'm going to go ahead and add a um add a TypeScript file, and give it give a name. Let's say a card suit. Okay. So when you create a file by default, Visual Studio create this source code. Um, so I don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And then, what? See, like I said, you know, this is the file card with the TS extension. That's a TypeScript file. And then, if you go in here, the TypeScript file is correspond to the suit. So basically, this code is correspond to the code that I deleted, okay, from my TypeScript file. Okay, cool. Now let's go into a TypeScript file and write some code. I'm gonna say a module. And I'm going to define a module name. Let's say. Okay, this is my namespace. I choose this name because this is my, you know, blog, my company name. So this, I define that that module. And inside the module, I'm going to define the enumeration. Let's say, enum, and so to enum, I'm define a suit of a card. So I'm going to define. I'm going to say it has a diamond. It will have a heart, spades, and clubs. Right? This is my enumeration. Boom. Okay. Of course, you know I have enumeration, but I haven't said the name of it. So I'm gonna say. Um, Okay, this is now enumeration is defined. Okay, now 
once that is defined let's go ahead and define a new object new ts file in the same folder we will define a card playing it's my playing card like you know yeah i don't need that so i'm gonna say i will be using the same uh, module so i'll be using this namespace So for you guys who are not familiar with the module, so module is kind of working as a namespace to kind of provide uh, separation. So inside here, I'm going to define a class. So remember, like the TypeScript has uh, ideas about about c class and the interface and inheritance, all those really goody from after offset oriented programming. I'm going to define a class called let's say a plain card. Okay. It's my class, and our class, as you can see, will have some field. Let's go ahead and define some of the field, like private, well, mm, let's say a uh, name of the card. Let's give it own card name. So that's a string. Uh, card value. Let's say I define it as a string. The good thing about this one is, like, you know, it's a, it's a, we can see the type of this object so we can say hey, this is a string and the card value is also a string and let's define let's say um, card image location this is basically to represent um, you know the actual image that refer to that particular card maybe a uh, sound location string and then actual once then let's say we would like to know what kind of suit it is and the suit we're going to use that our enumeration that we define as a card suit card suit okay all right see that we now we have a problem see because we define a private field called suit but it doesn't know what kind what kind of data type it is and even though we're saying hey we have the card suit in the same folder and this folder in the same label we cannot in the same namespace we cannot figure it out okay uh, you have to do we have to have a reference here so this references path so basically okay I'm saying the reference to a path called um, Okay, so I'm basically ha ha having reference to that object. Even though I added a reference, but it still couldn't figure it out. Okay, it is because um, by default uh, that, that when you create card suit, by default it is in private. If you would like to expose to outside world, you gotta say export queue over here. And let's go ahead and save it. Um, so it's still to say I don't know what you're talking about. It's still for some reason it couldn't figure out the card suit. Okay, it must be with my reference. R E F E R E N reference. Yeah, that that is spelling. It's not a plural references, like you know, it's just a reference. And I, I it reference to the path, and I expose that enumeration from the different file um, as an export. Okay, now let's go ahead and build it. Let's see if you look at this one. Um, okay, that's fine because we don't we don't have anything in our it's just for MC because I get rid of all the markup that is by default it had right. So, but you can see the JavaScript that it's generated right now. For our enumeration, look at this beautiful JavaScript code right now. So this one, basically, that enumeration is converted into a uh, self-executing anonymous function. And then it has this variable. So basically, when, when this self-executing function gets invoked, it is passing that. You know, if, if it's a define, if it is not defined, then you will say, you know what, I'm going to define you as a, you know, object, empty object later on. So basically that is an object and inside of it I can do I have another self-executing function you know it, this is how it uh, defines the enumeration okay 
I mean, you don't really, if you're not a JavaScript developer, it, this kind of like seems odd to me, odd to you, odd to me, odd, but like, if, if you look at this, this, this beautiful code, you know, it, 